Welcome to the Redfish Registry. Send it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night. 10.07. 10.07 to be Saturday exact. night. We're living the dream, recording a podcast. Yeah. Kids are in bed. Yeah. Yeah. Your wife's gone. Yep. She's uh, at a bachelorette party. Very cool. Probably dancing on a table or something. <laughs> you said it, not me. Well, uh, <laughs> I said that about you. I said you said it, not me. Like, oh, oh. I wasn't going to, you know, sorry, Chelsea. Uh, <laughs> Valerie is at home. Uh, put the boys. I left about 8.30, which it should have worked perfectly where they both are asleep by the time I left. And Porter was kind of asleep. But I got a text like 20 minutes later and things were not going well. No. Sorry, honey. At least you're here. When we're rich and famous someday, based on the Rough Fish Registry podcast, um, you'll you thank me later. I don't think it'll be rich. It could be like C list famous, maybe. No, we're definitely C list famous in the Southwest Missouri bow fishing community. C list, yeah, like, it's like two notches below uh, the McCann brothers. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh my gosh! So that was not a slam by any sh- no uh, no against ourselves. So yeah. We like you guys. Yeah. That's two podcasts in a row. We're mentioning them. I know. I texted him uh, after we released it and told him to listen to it that we gave him a shout out at the end. Yep. He called me. He was like, I knew you were lying. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Yeah. So what are we what are we talking about tonight? I don't know. What uh, you said you were. We are very prepared for this one, boys. Let me tell you. I got an outline right here. <laughs> Yes. It says oh, Coors my, Light. <laughs> my Google Docs. <laughs> Got an outline typed up and everything, boys. We are good to go. Mine just says dot, 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 <laughs> etc. Just, just put your rubber boots on. This is going to be bad. So you, uh, I guess all week you were kind of lounging a little bit, working on your food plots. Oh, yeah, lounging. So, um, so well, wait, so okay. other than bow fishing, right? we're pretty... I wouldn't call us hardcore bow hunters, but we like to try. We like to we like to spend money putting it into the dirt and hopefully killing something. Yes. Yeah. So last year you did kill your first bow buck, right? I I did. Uh that was my second season with a bow. Archery archery deer. What uh what bow are you shooting? I shoot an Elite Impulse thirty four. Like it? I like it. I shot it this morning. Did you? Mm-hmm. My, Tech uh, tip: Start shooting early, boys. Yeah, I just I shoot when I shoot my first deer. <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I don't do that. I, There's some guys that do, and like it always works. But to me, I I overanalyze everything. So if I if I climbed in a stand and I hadn't shot my bow like a hundred times that week, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna do really bad. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. So I have to. I shoot a bunch. Gotcha. So you shoot an elite. Shoot an elite. And you're working on your food plots. Working on food plots. Uh, so this will be, so this was, last year was my second season of bow hunt. So the year before that um, was my first. That's did you do food plot first year? I did. I, um, the year before that, so three years ago, um, my brother, the cashmere killer, has been bow hunting for like, uh, so, you know, we're not going to talk only about bow fishing. I guess we'll just let get that out there. Yeah, there's only so much you can talk about. Yeah, yeah. We can't we're not gonna tell you. We're secrets. definitely gonna have a lot of bow fishing stuff, but we're also gonna talk about what we're doing. Yeah. In you gotta the be other. in the pr- in the moment, right? So this is like, hey, maybe you should be thinking about this too right now. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so yeah, th- four three years ago I kind of dabbled and thought, Oh, it would be fun to do that next year. So then I like like anything I do, I read way too much, and I was like, well, I got to have a food plot. I got to do this before I even kill a deer. It's like, I got to, you know. Oh, I, yeah. I went yeah. way too deep. So did you just go to the store that first year and just buy, like, big bucks, Yeah. So big I, radishes I, or yeah. something? So we went to, like, Cabela's and bought. Uh, Bass so. Pro. JP listens. Oh, yeah, Bass, Bass Pro. Pro. Yeah. Bass Pro. That's where I went. I guess it's one in the You same know area. what? I think I did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It no, doesn't matter. Seriously, I, I think I I frequent both because I live in Golden, right? So I'm an hour from Rogers and I'm an hour from Springfield. So it's depending on if I'm going north or south is where I go. Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. 
But yeah, it was one of those um oh yeah, evolved harvest bags. Yeah. Okay. So I bought one of those like seven card stud, I think. Just a bag of goodness. Yeah, just you know, throw and grow. Mm-hmm. So I did I did though, we borrowed a disc and I disked the crap out of some two little spots and I threw it out there. And you my, threw it. Yeah, I, you I throw, brought grass. Did it grow? It grew. It grew. Yeah. It did grow. And uh to my amazement. And uh, this was two years ago, right? Yeah, two years ago. Three. And uh, no, two. two. Okay, two. Yeah, so this will be that was like come, yeah, twenty. Two deer seasons ago. Twenty fifteen, deer season. Yeah. Okay. So that I had probably like an acre and a half between two spots. One of them didn't hold a single deer, so total waste of time and money. But it was a good experiment. It actually grew the best. Yeah. The other spot, um, I hunted over, and I had three opportunities to kill something, and uh, I tried one. So, you know, first year bow hunting, had no idea what I was doing, uh, didn't really listen to many people, um, and hunted the same stand every time, like 25 <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah. And I saw deer, like, 80% of the time, so I was just like, well, I'm gonna, this is where it's going to happen. I mean, if the wind's right and you have good access, I mean, it ain't Oh, yeah, it, ain't, it, it, ain't it worked well. Deal. I could walk to it from my house. It was it was exactly I googled it, or I did the Google Maps measure, and it's exactly a mile from my front porch. Yeah, and I could walk there. Anyway, we're really drawing this out. Okay. Um. Uh. So. So you planted that two plant. years ago. Yep. And yep. then last year, what'd you plant? Last year, uh, did the same thing, and then I planted a little bit bigger plot specifically for. Um, the winter. So I planted the Eagle Seed smorgasbord. Yeah. Planted about three acres in that. And that's and like turnips, winter wheat, like uh, a brassica no, or there's something? No, there's no turnips in it. No. I did plant turnips as well. Um, I've never had good luck with turnips. We were told, we read on the internet, which is... We, Gotta be true. So we we planted them, and they grew like crazy. Like big old friggin' softball turnips right in the middle of the field. And the deer weren't touching. They were hitting everything else. And we were reading all this stuff. It was like, why aren't they eating the turnips? And we read that some deer, sometimes it takes two years for them to get used to it. They'll kind of nibble on it, but it's Mm -hmm. a different kind of taste. Well, as soon as the first cold snap hit, they were digging them dudes out of the ground. (laughs) And they were gone in like 12 days. So it worked. Uh, We held deer all winter. That was good. So this year, we were like, we're going to do this right. We're gonna we're going hard to the house. Mm-hmm. So I've got four and a half acres right now. What are you laughing at? Going hard at the house. Yeah. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Okay. We gotta generate content. What are we doing here? We gotta talk. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> I don't either. But whatever. So four and a half acres, and um, we have. I've put probably between Trevor and I, probably 10 hours so far into it. Mm-hmm. And it's just now June. So going to be planting some uh, mixtures of things. I'm not going to tell everybody what we're doing. but Okay. Keep yeah, we're out. planting. I got four and a half acres of soybeans. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was planting, kinda, planting kinda, tomorrow. What kind of down where you're at? Uh, Grant Woods, his place, Growing Deer TV, mm-hmm. is like straight. Be east of you, away. I mean, it's a ways, it's like but northeast, like probably thirty miles. Yeah, but he was saying that uh, the first year he planted soybeans down there, where there's no, there's not a lot of agriculture ground, that it took the deer the same as the turnips. It took him two years before they really got after him. Are you just are you lying to me right now? No, I am dead serious. He was on a well, podcast. I have deer, I've got deer there already, so it's not like no. He said the deer on his place would walk through the soybeans and eat. The freaking uh, ragweed on the side of the you food. You know plants. what? I heard that too. Did, oh, did you? Yeah, I did hear that. It was on a podcast I, I listened to forgot. the other day. I know. I remember. I remember somebody saying. It may not have been Grant Woods, but it was somebody talking about that specifically, and they were saying that you plant all this luscious stuff out there, and sometimes they'll just go to the natural stuff mm-hmm. and skip it. They say that like little soybean or little. Uh, Ragweed's like twenty some percent protein. I heard that mm-hmm. too. Like natural. Who yeah. was it? Is it 
was it Duck Duran on Ranella or some, something? We're going to get to bow fishing at the end of this, by the way. We will. Yeah. I promise. It may take 40 more minutes, but we'll get there. <laughs> we will get there. I promise. So, yeah, we're, I'm doing that. Um, I did. So this is important, kids. Uh, get your soil samples. Yeah. You need to do it like, you know, three months ago. So we did that back in the fall. And I'm telling you, it's like, you know, what is the old phrase? Uh, do what I say, not what I do. Mm -hmm. So, like, you need to take that and then apply it as soon as you get the information. If we'd have done that back in the fall, we'd have saved ourselves a little bit of money. Um, so we have a pH level that's a little less than optimal. So I find this out, like, a week before we're supposed to plan. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just planned it. Well, yeah. I just, you know, you spend quite a bit of money on seed, and you're like, oh, I don't want to put all this in the ground, and then it just not happen at all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I talked to Brad at Eagle Seed. Mm -hmm. Super helpful. Um, you can call down there, and I've talked to probably four or five different people on the phone, and they can all like answer any question you have. Super. I've called. Yeah, I've called them probably five times. Yeah, their their stuff's awesome too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good stuff. Uh, it's Wiener, Arkansas. Wiener, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. I yeah. gotta go to Wiener to get my seat. <laughs> I've said that <laughs> joke too many times. I think you called me when you were there. <laughs> I was like, "What are you doing?" You're like, "I'm in Wiener, <laughs> <laughs> getting some seed." We are 12 years old. <laughs> I am for sure, <laughs> but still, they have to hear that joke a lot. But anyway, uh, so I got my pH level. It was a little rough, and I called and I said, "Hey, here's where I'm at. What should I do?" And they said, well, it's too late to put lime in the ground because that's what you need. Um, but you can try this. And it's called Deer Grow. So I called the dudes at Deer Grow and I talked to um, two of those dudes, a biologist. And he gives me the straight lowdown on all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And Grant Woods had tried it, but he had a pretty good pH level to begin with. So it didn't really do that much. But he did notice a small difference, apparently. Um, so we're trying that, too. I sprayed that this week. Um, so is that just to bring uh, the pH up, uh, similar to yeah, a lime, it's just, but it's, it's basically quick? it's basically called plots. It's called Deer Growth Plot Starter, and what it does is it just puts all this, um, you know, it's like a li like a, it's a liquid calcium and lime booster gotcha. for the ground. So it's like if you're too behind, if you're far behind on putting lime in the ground, um, it can it'll boost it up for you and hopefully get you growing the right way. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> don't do it. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. So, what, did, anyway, what was I going to do? I don't, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Your kids are here. Weirdo. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. This is getting weird. So anyway, you put, this, you put the stuff down. You're going to plant your beans tomorrow. Well, I was going to plant tomorrow, but it looks like it's my forecast has changed. It was supposed to quit raining by 2, and now it's like raining until 7 o'clock. So I may yeah. plant Monday. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Um, now that the, I So the out, eagle beans, you haven't planted them before, right? Never planted the eagle. I've planted eagle, another mixture, but I've never yeah. planted soybeans. So I've we, tried to plant, we tried to plant alfalfa last year. No go. And because we didn't do our pH level tests. Mm-hmm. She didn't grow at all. You have to be kind of a hardcore a hardcore guy to do alfalfa. Yeah, and we were talking about doing it again this year, and then we started reading. It was like, well, you got to cut it and bale it, and you got to spray it like once a month. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, you can plant it once, and if you do it right, it'll grow for like seven years. But, dude, that's a, that's we, a ton. We've got of like two alfalfa fields at the farm, and I swear that we're in those more than every other piece we've got. But we planted soybeans. They weren't for deer. It's just for cows. But so we planted we planted eagle seed beans for three years now. And are you doing them again this year? So I'm I'm doing something a little different this year. Um, oh, tell me all your secrets. I will. Okay. So the eagle beans are pretty awesome. I mean, they get like four, five, six foot tall. Like I swear the deer get out there and just roll around in them. <laughs> <laughs> like like make make bean angels in them. I mean, <laughs> and when you hunt over them. Like, you'll be sitting there playing on your phone or something. You look up, and there'll be no deer. And then you'll, like, look up again, and there'll be, like, four deer standing there. You're like, what the heck? It's like the field of dreams when they 
they dissolve into the corn. That the deer just <laughs> come out of the beans like <laughs> dissolve I mean, into the corn. Not the deer, but the people that that go into the field. I understand the reference. The field of dreams. The deer of yeah. beans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So anyway, uh, this year I'm planting. So I left. I left probably five acres of beans standing last year. And I've got an awesome, like, volunteer plot coming up. So I think I'm going to leave those. Um, we sprayed, I guess, a couple of days ago. Knocked it out. And uh, they're Roundup ready, so you can spray Roundup and kill everything else. Pretty cool. Yep. So we sprayed that. You pay for that, but yeah, it's worth it. And uh, I think one bag does, like, one acre is about what it. I think it comes down to. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So 140,000 seeds per bag. Yeah, like 80 bucks or something, 90 mm-hmm. bucks. Mm-hmm. So this year I'm planting in this little center section, I'm going to plant uh, just regular old soybeans, like farm grade that don't get real tall. And then I'm going to come in about uh, July, uh, maybe early August, and plant uh, Eagle Broadside. I actually, they actually told me, like, Late yeah. August, yeah, early you just, September, and you can just broadcast it into your standing beans or no-till it into them, mm-hmm. and uh, <coughs> just let her grow up underneath there. So when whenever the frost hits and the beans turn brown, yep, right, they got greens right under them. There's greens right underneath, grain and greens, <laughs> according to the Dury Boys. Oh, man, yeah, I told my wife yesterday, you, you got to kind of like. Whenever I'm doing all this stuff outside, and I, I can't really take my two-year-old, but in three or four years, I'm excited to. And I was like, here's the thing. Honey, I'm just, I'm working for Silas's future here. I'm like, this is a five-year process. So when Silas is like eight years old, we're going to go out there and shoot a shoot a big old deer. I'm just working. Shoot him right. a booner. Yeah. So that's kind of what I say to try to sell the, yeah. I'm gone again tonight for three hours. Neither don't, neither don't. one of our wives hunt. So we're, you know. Yet. <clears throat> Yet. It's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Although my wife did see a video one time of a doe, like, curb stomping a dog. (laughs) I'm not kidding. (laughs) She's passionate about shooting a doe at some point. Just because she saw it, like, stomping on a puppy. Hmm. And it made her really mad. Gotcha. Good story, bro. I know. I thought it was funny. So what else? So, yeah, so (coughs) food plots. So I'm going to do that and... uh, I'm going to plant some Egyptian wheat. That's the stuff to get really tall? Yes. You're going to plant it along the roads? Well, so like... <coughs> stop the poachers? Hacking stop along over there. Stop Chad. <laughs> oh, Pull Puddin'. Yeah, keep him. Gosh no. dang Puddin'. So I'm going to plant it like uh, around where I'm planting the smaller soybeans so I can kind of brush in a, a ground blind in it. Cause oh. You know, northwest wind, southwest wind is predominant, and the, where the timber's at, I can't really get in there without. <coughs> Man, I'm. <coughs> call, cool. the, call the EMT. Yep. I'm going to have another drink. Chase is down. I think I inhaled a bug. We're in your screened in porch. It's not too buggy. I don't know if everybody can hear, but there's frogs. He's got a pond right by his house, and the frogs are going bonkers. Yep. I'm ready to go do some gigging. Burp, burp, burp. That's, um, that's a bad frog noise. Yeah, that was. My bad. So anyway, now to bow fishing. That was a, that was a terrible transition. Well, I was going tra- to try to go first and then let you go into your oh. pH and your stuff like that. I, I kind of went, went there, right? Yeah, you did, but I was going to transition from that, but I had to talk about my food plot, too. Right. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Is that that it for deer for now? Yeah. I got my Kansas tag. Yeah, you dog. Yeah. Me and Kneeball, Tommy got his. I don't know if if Shorty got his or not. My invitation got lost in the mail. Well, I texted you, and I said, I got my Kansas tag. I know. And And then I I said... You said, can I come? And I said... No, because <laughs> you didn't put in for the draw. Well, nobody told me to put in for the draw. I thought it was just like over the counter. No. But I guess not. No, that's cool. Us non-residents have to pay a pretty penny. 
even even in Kansas in Arkansas, I can walk down there and just buy a tag. That's why there's no big deer in Arkansas. There are big deer in Arkansas. I don't know. About you ever that, watched? Though. You ever been to Little Rock or watched the videos for Little Rock Big Buck Classic? But yeah, there. I mean, there can be bucks from all over the place there. No, I mean yes, but <laughs> most of them are from Arkansas. Oh, okay. I know a girl whose husband shot a 198 in southern Arkansas. Yeah. On a rice farm. Hmm. No, it's uh, not southern, but I'm central Arkansas, like right outside of uh, Stuttgart. Yeah. So is that like central or is that over on the Mississippi? Or? That's, uh, that is east central Arkansas. East central. So Stuttgart's known for ducks. Yeah. Right? Flooded timber. Duck Flo- hunting. Oh, yeah. flooded, all sorts of flooded timber. So I'm like, Stuttgart's known for ducks. If you didn't know, it's like half the freaking country <laughs> knows that. But. I don't even duck hunt and I know that. Yeah, no, I know. I, I duck hunt by jumping ponds in Berry County. That's how I duck hunt too. It's fun though. I just shoot from the hip. I can't. I've heard. I hear stories about those guys. We I, I has work in Jonesboro, and we go over there, and those guys are talking about going duck hunting. It's like, yeah, we gotta leave at three a.m. and it's twenty degrees, and we're climbing in a muddy blind. It's like, oh, yeah, that doesn't. I mean, that just to kill sound, a bird no. that doesn't taste good. So I was watching. I think it was a rerun. I don't know how to cook duck. Uh, so, media, you gotta cook it rare, but for real, yeah, yeah. Yuck. Or it tastes like liver. Steve Rinella will tell you that. I've never seen a Rinella post about or video podcast or nothing about ducks. He's a big duck hunter. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh, you know what? I take that back. I remember the one where they went up north. So I watched a show like two nights ago. They were hunting sandhill cranes oh, in the Texas. Rib eye of the sky. It's totally rib different than of a the duck, sky. Though. No, it, I mean, it's a big duck. No, it's not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> totally different bird. That's like saying a elk and a whitetail are the same. I mean, they kind of are. They got horns. Yeah, and four legs. And four legs. Congratulations. <laughs> well, a tiger, shark, and a buffalo is the same. Yeah. In that same vein. I'm not saying. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're saying. I'm, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I was cruising Facebook about. This is a bad episode. Yeah, thirty minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> You mean this 10 minutes ago when we were recording this? No, that was something else. Oh, okay. I sp- Did you read the post where Kneeball was like, I listened to Rough Fish Registry to stay awake? <laughs> yeah. That, I don't know if that's a compliment or a, like... Wake uh, up, Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> wake up! I told him I was going to yell at random times in the middle of the episode for him to wake up. <laughs> but anyway, so the carp farmers, again... We're not sticking to the outline. What were we going to go to next? That was a joke. We don't have an outline. Oh, I thought, all, all, I thought it was. I thought we were talking about duck still and meat eater. Yeah, two nights ago, was that? The t- yeah, that, I mean that was it. Oh, they okay. shot sandhill cranes. I just thought that was pretty weird. We should do that. I'd go shoot some cranes. I think it's like two hundred fifty bucks to go to South Oklahoma and do it. Yeah, and they taste good apparently. Yeah, I get pelicans on my pond. You think we could shoot them? Probably shouldn't. No, I don't think so. We could take them off the deck with the AR. I got. Well, I got a story for not a podcast about <laughs> duck hunting and something. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, I was on Facebook. <coughs> Carp farmers, the McCann brothers, again talking about them. They had a big uh, nasty. What is it like a? It wouldn't be a drum. It'd be like a one of those cubes liquid that hold liquid with the metal frame around them. Mm-hmm. And they had started dumping their carp in them. Yuck! I know. I don't think it, it, I'm sure it smells phenomenal right now, but ripe. So, you know, with bow fishing and people dumping fish and just, you know, that's kind of the, even if you don't dump your fish and you take them home and dump them in a hole, I mean, that's kind of the, the black eye or the, the, uh, I don't know what the word would be, the, the downside of the sport maybe. And, and not that it's wasting. I mean, but it is. No, from okay. Well, technically, yes, but from a ecological standpoint, yeah, you know, um, we're not damaging anything. Now we we may be wasting some fish that some people would utilize, but the majority of the planet, yeah, does not try to eat. No, for sure. You know, 
I just had a brain fart. I had a freaking awesome point. Did you? I'll just take your word for it. Okay. So anyway, I'm I'm lost. <laughs> it makes if you... this was like our third or fourth episode, we'd be freaking out right now, being like, "Oh my gosh, we can't have these awkward silences. <laughs> what are we doing?" But now it's like, "Oh, okay. Just let's just wait here in quiet for thirty seconds while <laughs> Chase know. gathers his thoughts." I'm I'm bad about that. Like I I really have to think about what I'm saying. So anyway, McCann brothers have their fish in a cube. Mm -hmm. They're actually coming up with a use for them. Yep. So I did a little research before while you were on your way up here, and long drive. Yep. So I guess you can take fish, (coughs) basically any fish. Oh gosh, I remember my point now. So bow fishermen take out like X number of carp, Mm -hmm. and there's probably. I mean, I don't know how many bow fishermen. Good ones do. I don't. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, say we take out, say what we would consider to be a lot of carp. Okay. How many crappie and white bass fishermen are there, and how many fish do they take out of these lakes every year? Oh. I mean, it's got to be 20 fold or 30 fold. You mean more crappie and white bass? More crappie and and white bass, yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're probably right. You know why? There's there's literally no number. I mean, there's not a there's not a metric for that. I don't think. I mean, there's probably a limit, but nobody's catching their limit every day. But you know, you, you white bass for white bass especially. You know, you see pictures of dudes pulling out like you know. Oh, tons. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can go like Chad. He goes down to James, catches his limit like two weeks straight. I mean, just go down there for an hour Mm -hmm. and a lot of guys do it yeah and there's zero like it's the same kind of thing but that kind of fit i mean you know a lot of people are eating those Mm -hmm. but as far as an damaging a fish species that's what i was meaning is is damaging the population right well i i definitely think that you know bow fishing puts a dent but i don't think it'll ever i don't think it'll ever wipe it out because the other thing especially you know like we were talking the other day about Wisconsin, and you seen like uh, who's those dudes up there? Uh, AMS? No, no, the prod, the guys in the Prodigy boat. Oh, we the... talked to at the carp app. Oh, Brad Marks. Brad Marks, yeah. So that tournament, it was like, oh my gosh, it looked like there's ten thousand commons they pulled out of that. Mm-hmm. It's like we can't do. I mean, like Table Rock Bull Shoals. I mean, all the other lakes, you can go, you can go shoot some, but you're not shooting that many. Yeah, I don't know so if I don't know if they're getting smarter or what. I think they're getting a little smarter. I think so. Because if you catch it on a night of the spawn, like you know, you used to be able to go out just on a Friday night three or four years ago, and just fill the boat with mm-hmm. dummies. You know, anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five pounders. Killed all the stupid ones first. We killed all the dumb ones. You know, all yeah. them dorkfish on a corn dog. I mean, if I was a fish and I saw lights coming down the lake now, I'd be freaking. I'd be splitting. gone. Yeah. See ya. I just hope it was like infrared. It's next. Chance Richardson's boat, so I knew they wouldn't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to come up with somebody I knew that I knew it wouldn't offend. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't really care who I offend. <laughs> no, I don't either. Because I'm not good enough to like them to actually be like, oh, that kind of hurts. <laughs> I made a good meme about Tommy and Shorty today. Yeah, you did. I'll have to post that sometime. Hey, everybody, um, leave a comment on here if you're listening. Are we posting too many memes? Is it is it not funny anymore? We're getting a lot of likes, so it's kind of yeah. like it's kind of like you know we're at an addiction. A, you know? a meme is the pictures with words. Seriously, you don't think they know? I that? didn't know what a meme was for a long time. I, I had somebody at work ask me. I said a meme, and they're like a meme. A meme? <laughs> <laughs> I said no, it's a meme. And I said, do you call it? A GIF or a GIF? And they're like, what's a what's a GIF? It's like it's one of those pictures that move like a video. <laughs> oh, a GIF? No. Oh. But so, so anyway, back to... I like making the memes, though. They're kind of fun. They are. Let our creative juices flow. Yeah, we make some inappropriate ones sometimes that we can't post. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll bounce them back and forth and be like, no, Chase, yeah. not that one. <laughs> I laughed, but I, no. 
the guy, the guy whispering in the fish's ear. I had a great one oh. before I had to make. I that showed one. it to my wife, and she did not think it was very funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> I said it was hilarious. But so anyway, PM us if you want to see the the yeah hot nasty ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! So carp farmers are putting their carp in. <laughs> I'm gonna get this out before we're before the. It's gonna take me See, all night. I would feel really bad about this, like the way that we're flowing. But I just listened to like three or four meat eater podcasts, which is like a top five outdoor podcast every week. And this, it was the exact same thing with like Steve and Yanni telling the ones like yeah. they just keep cutting Yanni <laughs> off like five times in a row, and he'd be like, "Well, the, the I was, one about the turkey hunting, yeah, yeah. it was hilarious." Yeah, that was a good one. I like the llama one, talking about Tina the llama, dude. I, I, did I tell you I wanted llamas now? Yeah, Trixie. Yeah. You're going to name her Trixie. Well, there's Trixie, and Tina's number one, for yeah. sure. My wife wanted one that was named Tina. Cause there used the, to be a, a lady of the night that worked the truck stop at Mount Vernon. Was she on the payroll? Nope, but she was truck stop Trixie. I said you should name your boat Two-Ton Tina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yep. My boat's gonna be for sale if anybody wants to buy it. <laughs> I can't. I can't use a podcast to to pimp my boat out. Why not? Yeah, it's our podcast. It's not like we have any sponsors or anything. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> if we did, they're gone now. <laughs> the guys are putting their fish. <laughs> okay, here we go. The guys are putting their fish in a tub, and then they put they fill the they put the fish in, and they fill it with water to cover the fish. And then you put, like, a little bit of, uh, like, what I read, you can use, like, lawn clippings or, like, leaves and crap like that. Mm. And then you put a little bit of, like, molasses or brown sugar is what I read. They use molasses, but I read you could use molasses or brown sugar. A little bit of something sweet for the all the bacteria to eat. And you basically just put a lid on it with a vent and just let her simmer. What I think is going to be really funny when the, like, uh, sheriff's department's doing flyovers, <laughs> like, looking for weed patches and meth camps, yeah. they're going to, like, oh, bingo, we got a hot one. Yeah. And they're going to land in their field and pull the lid off that dude and be like, they're baking bodies in this thing. <laughs> 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 we got a couple serial killers on our hands. So so it's basically what is called is emulsified fish oil. Yeah. Uh, and it's <clears> got... I like was the trying pill, like the pill you take. Probably, I mean, we could start <clears throat> selling it on the black market. I guess organic. Yeah, holistically <laughs> taken. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess you let the stuff cook, and eventually, whoever they is <laughs> says the smell goes away. Like it doesn't stink. I mean, it smells like fish, but it doesn't have that like rotting fish. I guess smell. Mm, I don't. I just don't buy it. I dumped my fish, like, up by the barn behind it. You dumped them with us that one night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And every once in a while, you get the right wind. Whew. Yowza. <laughs> it's a little ripe. Dude, we dump them in the same spot, not very far from Trevor's house, the cashmere killer. And he has he bought two pigs to, mm-hmm. to raise and then butcher. And those pigs outstink the dead carp. By a country mile, really. Like if they get a wind, it is bad. I and thought I think, oh, it's dead carp. No, it's the pigs. Like I've seen videos of people with pigs in their houses. I'm like, well, what? those people are filthy. So anyway, you take this fish oil, <laughs> and the cans put these fish in a yes, bucket in a bucket with water and molasses, and you let it cook, and then you basically pump it in your fields. Uh, the dilution I saw was one cup to one gallon. Huh. Like, it's pretty stout stuff. One cup to one gallon. I wonder how many. So if they fill that dude up, I think those are like, uh, those are usually like 250, 300 yeah, gallon tanks. Thinking. So yeah. if you fill that up and it turns, so I mean, that's like, how many cups are in a gallon? 16? No. That's ounces, that's ounces in a pound. Yeah. I don't know. My or wife's got a deal hanging on the fridge, I think, that tells us all that stuff. You mean a emulsified fish oil converter? <laughs> no, a, a cup and... I know what you meant. Shut up. <laughs> Wake up, Jeff. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Nobody's gonna like this episode. It's probably gonna be our best one ever. You were totally right. Sixteen what? cups in a gallon. I knew that. <laughs> you guessed. <laughs> no, I didn't. So <clears throat> if they have three hundred gallons times sixteen. Times sixteen. That's forty eight hundred gallons of spray or whatever you could mix. I just would hate to put that crap through my spray rig. Well, I think you <clears throat> I would think you I guess you'd have to mix it all or like, you know. So what they say to do on the on the website I was reading. But is that work, that'd be that'd be pretty killer. You basically strain it. I mean you just run it through a screen mm-hmm. and strain all the I mean they say it even dissolves the scales. Like there'll be some scales left and like it still has to be a nasty process. Oh, I'm sure it is, but I mean, for some cheap free fertilizer, basically. So, okay, let's think about this for a second. So those guys that come down and we fill their tractor trailer load full of dead carp, how much money are they making on fish fertilizer off of us? Like a bottle of it was like 15 bucks or something. No way. Yeah, Google it, emulsified fish oil. I don't know if that's the same stuff they're making. I think we got a profit center, boys. <laughs> I mean, I just was trying to, uh Jason said he was just trying to figure out a way to write off bowfish into the farm. I can tell you how to do that. Just get you a good accountant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I built my boat, I had it billed as custom advertising. Yeah. Uh, emulsified cod. Well, that's like medicinal use. No, it, it just like. That's medicinal it's like fertile, like, I don't know what, it, I don't know. It was on Amazon. <coughs> no, not fertility fertilizer. <laughs> I wouldn't take that for Alaskan fish emulsion. There you go. 15 bucks, that's probably like a gallon and a half. That's like one cup, if it's true to your math. Yeah. You sure it's a gallon and a half? I'm looking here. <coughs> Will not burn. It Wal- won't burn? Walmart. Walmart. It's on Walmart. That's weird. Yeah, Walmart sells it. Huh. Yeah, 15 bucks for a jug of it. I mean, it's a gallon. A gallon and a half. Yeah. For sure. McCann boys are on to something. That's right. I'm going to have to go get me one of them totes. <laughs> <laughs> and a gas mask and Some big old gloves <laughs> Just put it under the deck there at your uh, At the office At the office headquarters down there Oh, and that way The picture's too grainy, I can't see Anyway I'm, I'm gonna try it Gallon. It's 18, a gallon 18 bucks for a gallon Yeah Yowza So I'm sure you gotta go through some EPA process to make it all legit Yeah, I'm sure you do <clears throat> But, uh I mean, I'm thinking free fertilizer for my food plots. That's for sure. You at least give it a shot, see if it works. Mm hmm. Huh. All right, so we're back. Yep. Everything come out all right? Uh, yeah, I did delete the part where I said I was going to the bathroom. So. Oh, okay. So that's kind of weird that we said, like, it transitioned <laughs> to now it's like we're back. So. Okay, I didn't know you deleted that. So. I did. I don't know why, but I did. So, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I went, to, I went to the restroom. Everything was smooth. Yeah, broke my door. I did. That door, that door is confusing. I'll tell you that. Yeah. It is a confusing door. I need a sign. It says pull. Yep. Yep. So, BFC is coming up. Yes. Yep. You, you got an invitation. Yeah. Did but you, you can't even go. I know it. We're going to, we got to talk and see if we can. Uh, so, I can't go. I guess my teammates can go. So, yeah, you, you, so your team's qualified and your teammates obviously are qualified. Yeah. So, we're going to. You can't transfer, like, the captainship over. You can't bring on new people. I know I read that in the rules. Yeah, so. yeah. So I don't know if I can – I've got a wedding that day or that whole weekend. But your so. team's qualified, so they should be They should be good. I'd say so. We'll talk to JP about it and see uh, – make sure everything's kosher. But I think we should be good. Old Puddin' and Brent. Yep. Puddin' mm. and B. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, those two. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna do. I uh They're gonna win. They probably will. 
They won't have your, you know, brain overanalyzing everything. They're just going to go out there and just kill it. They're just going to send them all. Just going to send it. Dude, you know, Chad, Chad just kills everything in sight. Just, we could have the boat. I'll never forget that night. We First time, or no, it wasn't the first time, second second time. Anyway, we were we had a bunch of biggins in the boat. And out there that winter, this yeah, winter? Yeah, yeah, two winters ago. No, this winter. Mm, no, two years ago. You didn't go out with us two years ago in the winter time. Year before last. No, because first time you shot wintertime buffalo with us. Yeah. Was like five months ago. No. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing tonight because yeah. I just told where it was going and then I started to re-record again and then Chase said it again. So I'm cutting and yeah. splicing. So yes. Yeah, last year before okay, last, yes, I the night that. we shot the big buffs. Yes, I so know. So we're filling the boat with biggins, and then Chad's shooting, sh- slinging arrows at every 12-pounder in the water. It's like, yeah. what are you doing? He's yeah. just got the killer instinct. I don't know. I think I think that BFC is going to be tough. Oh, July. It's not going to be a cakewalk, that's for sure. No, no. I mean. It depends on what the water does, too. Wasn't the state shoot last year in July? No. no. It was in June. June. Mm -hmm. So I guess I don't know I mean That was fun though No it was I didn't And I I heard most of the fish Were killed during the day Yeah 90% of ours were Except for our grassy We saw one We shot like a two pound common Yeah I know When I text you At like Three o'clock And I showed you A bucket full of gar I'm pretty sure You were pissed I wasn't mad I was just like Well you weren't mad. No, I'd I'd seen like the, those those guys gotta beat me. Yeah, oh. we saw one grass carp all day, and uh, I whiffed on it. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's tough. But it be, that should be fun though. I mean, so they're gonna live? Are they live feeding the second night? I don't know how they're gonna do that. I we I haven't talked to him about that. I mean, I, I could know. I could I could be a guy that sits on the boat and broadcast. Yeah. I could be like play by play. I mean, maybe do it like the, like, uh... I volunteer my services. I mean, they could do a catch and release, you know, get them in, weigh them, and let them go. Where are they going to let them go? <laughs> Back in the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how they're going to do that. Though. I don't think so, Tim. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be live a live feed or if it's going to be, like, uh... Maybe like, a score on the like boat. Like, score updates from the boat. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, that'd really... Shoot your pony if you jumped on there and all of a sudden some guy had about a 60 pound grassy. <laughs> Shoot your pony. <laughs> hmm. That's my that's my saying for when you get down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We talked about that last week, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Just got to keep grinding. Keep Girls. on keeping on. That's right. Um. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Um. I don't, I mean, I wonder what the format's going to be like for like just people to come hang out and view because I've, we didn't make the cut, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. but we'll be around. I'll be around for sure. Yeah, I'd say. Is, what is the week? What is the day on that? In July twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Right. Yeah. Let me. Uh, we need to double check that before we. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's let's do the math. Um, carry the two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, square root of thirty eight. Yeah. Um, niner. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say <laughs> niner. Oh, let's see here. I'm pulling it up on Facebook. I could go get the invitation out of my truck. You'd tell me. Wow. Yeah. yeah. With my plaque, if you want to see that too. Nope. Don't care. Yeah. Where are we at here? Two is not a winner, and three nobody remembers. <laughs> I guess you still are a winner because you want some money. Yeah. It's all gone. <laughs> First night. Yeah. Where are we at? Come on. Where are you at? There's the open. Muzzy. But anyway, I'm, you know, with the, I think the other thing that's kind of, you know, got our daubers down. That's my catchphrase for July 29th. July 29th. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Friday and Saturday. So Friday night's the. Boom. The everybody that qualified and then they cut it down to so many teams. Right. For Saturday night. The other thing, though, you know, we were talking about, not that we, you know, we're disengaged from bow fishing at this point. We're totally not. 
but with the water being up so high and just messing up all the lakes, mm-hmm. you know, your plan for, you know, summertime, l- midsummer, late summer, boat fishing is kind of jacked up. I, I go mean, through like phases. Like, you, you, we spend, you know, we spend a lot of time and energy preparing for the open. Yeah. And it's kind of like you you got to kind of come off that a little bit. And then probably mm-hmm. two or three weeks, it's going to fire back up and be like, oh, yeah. Like my kids, for the two weeks or three weeks I was scouting before the open, my kids were just dying to go. And school was still going then. And we've got baseball. And we weren't really shooting fish when we were scouting. So I just, I just kind of told them, you know, after the tournament's over, we'll go. Right. So, right. like Sunday, you know, after the tournament, get home, take a little nap. Monday, we have baseball. Tuesday, we had like an eight o'clock game. So, game got over at right. nine at nine yeah. thirty, and my boys were like, "Let's go bow fishing, Dad. Let's go bow fishing. It's perfect night. It's nice. Moon's up. You know, <laughs> it's not supposed to rain." They like had all these, your all this stuff in their kids head. Kids already know like what's going on. Yeah, we've heard you talk about it a lot on the phone, and uh, we know it's good. So we loaded up, went, uh, went up to Stockton. hadn't been on Stockton in a while. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> First time all year, folks. Yeah. So we loaded up, went to Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? You, t- yeah. I we loaded up, went to Stockton. You laughed first. I know I did because I thought it was kind of funny because I was on Stockton some, but uh, <coughs> anyway, we saw Ugh. a dink gar, um, and Brody, my oldest, he freaking just smoked it. Oh yeah, uh, and oh, then yeah, brother. And then a little ways down from that, the trees uh, up in the bushes were just going crazy. I mean, I knew there was a fish up there. I didn't know if it was a buff or grassy or what. So I told them both to draw. And uh, what are you doing over there? I was scratching my okay. lip with the mic. Okay. So the trees were shaking. This fish come out. It was, I mean, it, it wasn't funny. It wasn't huge. It was probably a, you know, 20 pound buffalo or something, 25 pound buff. I may have wait. Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> they both missed it. They were, they were freaking out that. There was trees shaking and the tree shaker. Tree shaker. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And then I haven't I haven't even looked at my boat since I've got it. I went it. out the same night too. It took took Silas out for the first time. You went to check on Big Dan, didn't you? Yeah. He wasn't home. Mm. That's fine. I'm gonna I'll see you in two years. And I don't even care when it is. <laughs> I'm gonna send it. Gonna send it no matter what. No matter what. I say that, but if it's the same scenario as this year, I'm not sending it. Gosh, I wanted to though. I wanted to bad. I'm gonna come down and visit Big Dan. I mean, you probably know where he's. I told you where he's at. Uh, not really. Well, I told you basically. He gave me like a riddle. No, I didn't. It's not a riddle. I'm not gonna say what you told me, but it's not a riddle. No, it's just what people say. It is what people say. Okay, but it's using. Literal geographic locations. Okay. It's not a riddle. And you know the general vicinity. <coughs> that narrows oh, yeah. it down even further. Yeah, I wouldn't. I won't come down there. I've only been down that you, area you two or three times. Yeah, okay. We'll go. We'll go. I'll take you. I'll take you right there. We'll yeah. go tomorrow night. Not tomorrow night. Yeah. Freaking shoot him in the face. In the face. That would be kind of fun, though. Wake up, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, enough of that. All right. Well, uh, we're 48 minutes. This has been long enough. It's been a yep. bit of a crap show. So so uh, the McCann brothers have got this. <laughs> no. Yeah. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Not on Twitter. We're not that cool. No. Nah, I can't I, say what I need to say in that few no. words. Yeah. It's not conducive to dank memes anyway. So Yeah. Yeah, if the memes are too much, guys, just let us know. Yeah. But we're getting a lot of feedback on them, so we kind of like them. And dang it, go to iTunes, iTunes, please, and give us subscription, a review, and subscription. And review, very important. Yeah, you know, Renell, if you listen to Meat Eater podcast, which I do, um, now it's weekly. Yeah, and you know, the last like three episodes, he's called us all a bunch of freeloading SOBs because we don't, you know, he's. Pumping out weekly podcasts, yeah, like we do, 
Uh, you know, so finally getting with the times, Ranella. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, you know, it's expensive to do this. Not really. He's like, oh, it costs a lot of money to do this. Probably does for them because they have like legitimate guests, and we're just two yeah. dudes rambling into a microphone. Uh, but. <laughs> yeah, so any kind of validation of our success or our terribleness is is appreciated. So give us some feedback. Yeah, we do get what we get two or three messages a week saying, "Hey, oh yeah, they l- appreciate I mean, it, like the show." Keep I think it they're up. getting better. I think they are. I mean, like I said, like maybe not the content, but at least the <laughs> our flow's better. Flow and banter. You know, I've been taking those pills, and my flow is just really good. My jokes aren't any better. No. But I'm getting more comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. English. All right. So yep. I've got about an hour and 20 minute drive home. So, and it's 1115. So I better, I better hit the road, Jack. Yep. Facebook, Instagram, give us a subscription review. Guys, I appreciate all of you. Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. All right. We'll see y'all later. See ya.